Vishnu, Shiva, and Vishnu. Guys, welcome back. So, as you guys know from the last episode, we had a big gigantic uh, nothing that's happened where basically the Chinese, uh, well, it wasn't really the Chinese, it was actually the Russians that kind of blocked us there and did exactly what the Chinese did to me the first time I went to war with Zing Song. The secret war that you guys will never see. The one we probably did in a simulation. Probably with like little tiny toy soldiers and stuff. But anyways, um, we're back here in this game of Austin Imps where I just rate lowered the taxes to help my people recover. And I really debate if I should work on my military at this, I mean my navy at this point. Because I've neglected it so much that it's just like, should I even try at this point? And the answer that I slowly come to is no. I will not try. So, as you guys can see, we are slowly having reforms done to, like, try to get minimum wage and all this kind of stuff. And I'm still, to this day, still saying no. <laughs> I'm not giving them. I'm, I'm at this point in the game where I'm just like, oh, yes, airplanes. Okay, we could definitely be number one airplanes. I'm pretty sure no one else is producing airplanes yet. Airplanes. Aw, oh, come on. How do you as... Never mind. You know, I don't even care because you know what? The U.S. has not capitalized on it. And because airplanes are a really... Like, if you guys don't know this, airplanes are really good to have in the game. Uh, let's see. What would be a good... I have to sort this by craftsman. Craftsman levels. Sort by the most. Yeah, that, that 32 is going to go away pretty quickly. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I almost think I should cancel that. Well, let me just see. Let me make sure this is actually failing. Yeah, this electrical grid's failing. Why, though? Because it's not getting its mis its estimated earnings. Okay. Yeah, that stinks. <laughs> That's going to cover for that. It's going to cover for that. Yeah, we basically... We don't really have room right now to build any airplane factories, but when we can, we're going to be able to jump onto that really quickly. Also, I've noticed over here that there was a gigantic rebellion going on. This is kind of awesome. Because what this means is that we will... Basically, not have to produce these guys anymore. So, let me see. These guys, and there was one other person I can kind of give up on. These guys right over here. Odessa? Olissa? But I already gave up on them a while back, so it's good. And if you guys are wondering why I'm speaking kind of softly right now, um, it's pretty late in the day. So, you know, I don't want to wake up my mom, and I don't want to be, you know, disrespectful to my neighbors. Because, God, God forbid, I have one of my neighbors come to my mom's door saying that her child was being too loud. Oh my goodness, the chaos that would ensue after that. So, anyways, um, right now, if I remember correctly, we were doing something with Siam. Doing something evil. Oh, and the restoration of my... Why are you helping Japan? You're only increasing their power, which is not good. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. Oh yeah, we were decreasing our relationships with Siam. And I was either going to sphere them or I was going to puppet. I was either going to conquer them completely or they're going to be added to my sphere. Or added to as a puppet. Because basically I realized that, you know what, these guys need to be either part of my nation or they need to not be. So. I can't do either. Wow. I could do a war for adding a sphere, liberate country, demand concession. Eh, I could just do a puny war for demand concession. I mean, it wouldn't even be that... Wouldn't even be that bad. I guess I guess we could do a demand war concession, because, I mean, that's not that bad. <laughs> oh, man, I really... Dang. There's all these rebellions starting to happen because I've been around so long that this is starting to all affect everyone. And we have so much. No. I don't trust you, China. And you don't trust me. So let, let's let's be real here. We don't trust each other. So why would we ever... You know, like it. Okay, so that means I'm probably going to have to start expanding forts onto this side too. Because they're probably going to go after... Um, they're probably going to go after Mongolia next too. Uh, which is going to be scary at that point. Because then... Then that means we have a good prolonged front. In fact, I better stick these soldiers right here and somewhere right here because you know what, we're, we're probably going to get into another conflict here very, very soon with our good neighbors and good Samaritans, the 
Okay, since I think the taxes we covered, it's time to get all our taxes again. 70% taxes. 70% taxes, and voila! Ah, dang. We're not making the big bucks anymore. I think the war, the war thing just wore off, but that was, we had a good enough run to where we got 1.3 million people, and the British have just colonized more of Africa. They're coming for us! And apparently Northern Communists have almost taken over all of Africa. Weird. Apparently, Germany and... I don't know, it's Austria and Russia are at war. Kinda interesting. Wait, do I not have an alliance with Austria anymore? Oh no, don't tell me they went to war without me, or... Did I miss something? Okay, they would accept that. Well, let me see my options here, because... No, what am I talking about? <laughs> well, it's just like the best alliance I can get out of anyone next to me. And the reason is, is because, honestly, they will help me no matter what with the stupid... With the stupid Chinese, who have now basically conquered back and have become quite, I, I would say at this point, they are quite threatening to my power. Um, what are we going to go to war for? We're going to go to war for, I'm deciding if I want to go to war for, well, let me see, is that one region? I remember this vaguely. Yeah, that's one region. So, what I'm going to go for, for is right here. So I guess I do want a little bit of the opium trade. Um, I don't think the Nam's going to join against us because... Oh man, I'm going to turn that down a little bit. Okay, I don't think the Nam's going to join against us because... You know, we are pretty much untouchables right now. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I would not want to be fighting myself. So, Chin Mai. So I need Chin Mai. So... Let's see, declare war, I will demand concession of Chin Mai. Call on all my allies. Because you know what, it's a, it's a puny war, I doubt. If Vietnam joins in, I'll be so mad. Vietnam, I hate you. The Russians did not join in, so now Russia and me are just... We, we and Russia are playing my games. I'm gonna let my... I'm gonna let my vassals deal with this situation, because I don't really need to be in there. But this isn't really my war. Like, all I'm gonna do is just like kind of help, but just be like, meh. And then Japan, man, Japan's a wild card here. Japan can go either way of either being really, really, like, conquesty and, like, help me out in the future. Like, I don't know if you guys realize this, but they could be, like, our ultimate friends or our ultimate enemies. Because, I don't know who they're going to choose next war once... It's a good thing the Chinese can't go to war with us for another five years, otherwise I think they would. They would take that opportunity, but, you know, I don't know who they're going to choose for their, um... Who they're going to choose for internationally. I mean, I don't know if they're going to choose us or if they're going to choose the, uh, Chinese. It, it's going to be a very interesting situation once it actually comes to this. And... I, I really hope Jap I'm going to keep influencing Japan. Just to make sure they are completely 100% in my favor. Because we need them. I'll be straight with you guys. We need Japan on our side. To make sure that we can do everything. And... Um... Okay guys, sorry about that. I had to deal with some... You know... Mom walked in and told me to be slightly quieter. <laughs> so, let's see, you guys already ready to admit defeat? Good. I wasn't really trying to do a long war here. I was just trying to do a quickie, a quick war. Just so I could get a province over here. Because I want to get some opium. I want to start producing some opium. <laughs> I, I really didn't know why I just did that. I just wanted a war. Okay, and the Russians want an alliance? I will definitely accept that. Because we need to make sure that we keep the Chinese out of their core world um speaking of which the next war that we go to is probably going to be the war to end all wars with the Chinese oh my goodness there's, there's lots of rebellions here I'm so happy keep destroying the natural order we must have more rebellions see this is what happens is that when I see this is why I keep high taxes for anyone who doesn't pay attention the higher taxes I have the more rebellions happen in other provinces and those provinces usually overlap with 
of these little city states and so they inadvertently get rebels from me. I'm going to support that. Having a slight economic collapse. So that's not good. That's not good at all. Let's see, any good fact this one's doing exceptionally well. Get to be expanded. This one, this class factory is just doing dang good. It's doing well. Okay, I'm gonna start I'm gonna go through here and destroy all the factories that aren't making anything and just and make all and make more of the factories that aren't making stuff. So see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, I did that. It wasn't really that hard. I just uh, in some of these places, I kind of realized why I have some of these dead factories. I kind of kept it that way. So it didn't make any sense to, like, unsupport them. So, yeah. I may have gone soft in my own industry, but... Eh, just the way things are sometimes. Holy... Well... They've obviously, they've obviously been preparing for something like this to happen. Oh my goodness, they conquer fast too. Let's go back here. Let's do this. Oh my goodness, there are so many of these. So obviously my government wants me to become communist. That's good to note. Too bad I'm not really interested in the whole communist idea. And there's many reasons why, but yeah. Okay, realism. No, at this point we're basically at the end of the game. So we need to start with we need to keep focusing on um military. We need to get all of the four military sticks. Um, but we also need to get this all under control, which will take a couple years, I will not deny, because my troops aren't spread out. They're mostly on the front so that we don't die. So let me just put all my troops into attack mode. Okay, I'm going to just stick a guy here at my capital again, because I completely forgot to do that. And there we go. There we go. Okay, go men! Go! Ah. Ah. Sorry guys, I wasn't due to you. Um, basically a fly was at my face and I was like, Oh, come on. The third way, strength through unity. The government has grown weak. Uh, the third party of fascist. What? Wait, wait, wait. Japan enacted fascism? Really? Oh my goodness. That... Why? Okay, so we have a machine parts factory that just failed. I expected that. I mean, it's kind of like, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Good. That just means we weed out kind of the bad industry. Which is what we kind of have to do, because we are 700 by now in power. Oh my goodness, this is a big rebellion. I could, like, nationally mobilize right now, but... Right now this is kind of good, because it's also kind of forcing... I'm hoping it will also kind of destroy some of these other, um, it'll destroy some of these other, like, nations, that's what I mean, these other nations, hoping some of these rebels will, like, go into these other places and, you know, conquer all these other nations, because that would be pretty cool, and we found more rubber in our land, which is a great news, because we don't have much rubber in our land, to be honest. I mean, it's a fact I have to say that, but we don't. You know, there's so many messages about that right now, it's starting to drive me crazy. Let's see, where did we find it? Found a rubber right over there. Didn't find any rubber over there. Found They found lots of rubber. I don't know where we found the rubber, but okay. Right, I'm just like, reconquering a lot of my land. I'm really hoping some of these rebels will transfer over over here. Come on, guys. Be anarchist. Be anarchist. Stop conquering my land, seriously. Go after the other people. Yes, actually, that's good. That's good. There is no way they can deal with that. Okay, Japan, I think, is now going to be speared by me. Which means... No, not quite. Almost there. But it does mean I get a good stake in it. Which is good. Okay, Yemen's going to ask for something stupid. Alright. Man, I'm so close. Oh, come on. Kill them! Kill them! Don't let the rebels do anything to my land! My precious land! It's very big and, f and big, but it's still important to me. Okay. We have lots of money, so let's get some steel railroads, by the way. Because we have tons of money right now. Just tons. I mean, we are bank. Like, legitimately, we are 
bank. Okay, let's see. Oh, we must have taken a major market hit somewhere. Alright. We're slowly killing off all these rebels though, that's good. And it seems like some of them did migrate to the new world, but they kind of migrated not to the way I wanted them to. So, wow. Yeah. Not exactly the way I wanted it to happen, but it happened. They migrated. Okay. And also, how close am I to the other great powers? So I'm kind of wanting to... Oh man, I'm so close. I'm almost being the fourth great power in the world. Oh god. We just need to kind of make... I think what we need to do is just kind of make a good sized military. Oh man, capitalists. Are my capitalists still making all these weird stuff? Yeah, they are. I'm letting my capitalists go rampant right now and they're just... Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, great. What do you want, Russia? It may not be a big war. Oh yeah, we can we can definitely join in on this war. Except that's not that's not like crazy bad. It could be crazy bad, but it isn't. Okay, so yeah, they're almost dead. So now they go to my land, of course. We should outfit an expedition across Antarctica. Cause that's what we do. We just go into random places and we just start making stuff. Alright. I'm gonna while I'm talking about making stuff, let's start making a new army. Alright, let's build a debate new division right there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we'll get our two horsemen here. Then we'll get our one here. Or engineer there. Then we need one, two, three, four, five. Okay. We have all the soldiers we need. Right there. Dun -dun. And Burma took care of some of my soldiers for me. I thank you, Burma, for my eternal heart. Okay. Now please. Oh yes. Oh dang it! Shoot. Okay, well that rebellion failed. <laughs> it might have actually succeeded, but it failed in my eyes because it did not dislodge the power of the British. And this guy is the only one that has soldiers. Oh. Okay. Okay. Did you guys... No. You guys decided to be a part of the British... No, wait! Brooklyn did not! Yes, the communists! Okay, let's just let's restore order. Let's destroy these guys. Go right here. All right, yeah, that's, that's all I really need. Go! Go, my men, before they re get reclaim their land somehow. We do not want them in our land. By the way, these communists... No, the young Indian brigades. I'm not sure that will actually join us. The communists! Kill the communists! Kill the communists! We don't want them in our land! Alright, you guys. Go over here. We're gonna go help the war. Alright, so that means we get a little bit more of our land back. The San Francisco earthquake. Oh man, this is game. This is so great. I mean, just as the Chinese are trying to reconquer their land, we're trying to really reconquer all of our land, which is insanely hard because it's just like so spread out. And because the British are not helping at all. In fact, they kind of hinder our health. Let's still teach future generations. Ah, let's do that. <laughs> Oh my goodness, 728, really? Wow. Wait, is everyone else going up too? Let's see, the average American is one that- Wow, we are doing great in industrial. Like, seriously, great. And, why did they go to my land? Why in the- Sam Hill did they go to my land? Okay, good. Well, at least they're spawning on top of- At least they're spawning on top of the, uh- soldiers of Ak Ada. So that means they might be... Don't go into my land. Thank you. I have soldiers here. Thank you. Okay, good. You're conquering the right land. Good. Good. Now, are you communist? No, you're young Indian brigade. So I'm gonna find out what the young Indian brigades do. And find out. Annex Brooklyn. Oh, yeah. And now I got even more of a border. <laughs> Uh, India is starting to look 
very much like India. We're, we're slowly but surely starting to get all these little tiny states out of here, which is making us look so much better. So much better. You guys don't even know. Alright. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching. This was a good episode where we conquered a little bit more of our homeland. And, you know, just generally, we're awesome. <laughs> How else can I say it, guys? Holy sh- Oh. Oops, got to be at you guys. You guys do that too. Alright, now I want to get to my land. There. Okay. And, yeah. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.